I thought I would jump on to both Instagram and Facebook at the same time, multitasking here, because the energy right now in all of our universe collectively is nuts. And it's not unusual for us to have like ebbs and flows and, and things that are um, challenging at times. But this last week has just been so intense and everybody that I've been uh, working with and including myself, it's just felt like been in a pressure cooker. And um, the last, oh, my ears are ringing off the hook right now. So the last couple sessions, I feel like um, we kind of nailed it down with the amazing clients that I had between the combination of what was coming in for me and what I've been asking about recently and like what is going on. So what it feels like is this um, kind of, we're going to create like a little bit of back pressure of energy and it's been um, kind of kicking our butts into paying attention to what's working and what's not working. And we have that all the time. But for some reason, the last two weeks, I feel like I'm going with that we all know we're capable of so much more and we're raising our vibrations, which then contributes to the whole. But this one seems particularly challenging because it's, um, it's, it's, poking old traumas. So it's asking us to look at what haven't we dealt with yet? Like what have we not um, wanted to pay attention to? Old relationships, well, current relationships, but behavioral patterns that are in those relationships. And we see this, again, if you're paying any attention to your life, you see the repeated patterns. Um, but I felt like I needed to jump on one because I missed you. Uh, Fridays have been a little nuts lately. But um, but also to say, hang in there. Please hang in there. You would be best served to get your butt grounded uh, through meditation, through exercise. Um, for some people, grounding actually means get in the water. So don't think that because it's fluid and and everything that you're, you – you won't get a supportive mechanism from from the um, buoyancy of water. So sometimes um, think think individually. Think what works for you. I personally am in my living room and decided to do this because I was doing some yoga in between sessions, still sitting on the floor, um, because grounding is difficult right now. And there's a um, grounding meditation on the podcast. It's called bonus episode. And I don't know how many episodes back it is. But if you wanted to try that too. So it's pressurized right now. And you are responsible for your reaction or your response to the energy. And but I felt like if I could offer a, you've got this, you have manners, you have skills, you will be crying. If you're listening to any of your emotions or you're tapped into energy, which psst, everybody is, it's just a matter of whether you're listening to it or not, the tears are going to flow. So let them. Um, old wounds are coming up. I had an experience yesterday where someone was not aware that um, my husband Howard had passed almost four years ago now. And when I had the conversation with her, it was her her shock and her pain as well. Uh, but there was also, it unhooked something in me again. And I was like, oh my goodness, here comes another layer. And then I'm like, oh, another layer. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, uh, not the best cake you've ever had, but it's okay. So if you are uh, finding yourself a little bit more emotional than you have been in the past month or so, that's why. Have some compassion for yourself. I don't feel like it's going to be around much longer, but um, I'm not in charge of the whole universe, but I figure if we can collectively contribute and maybe do something nice for someone else, um, take care of self, 
Or, you know what, make that therapy appointment or make that coaching appointment or make that appointment with a trainer or something that can have you looking at your stuff. Because the more that we pay attention to what's coming up, it dissipates, it goes. And then it doesn't have to be weeks on end that you're struggling with this or you're, you end up in a depressive cycle. Um, <laughs> or like me, you're reaching for the caramel M&Ms. Why did they invent them? Um, and But it, it can be short-lived if you're willing to look at it. Pay attention to what excuses you're making, the excuses for yourself or the excuses to other people about it. And especially pay attention if you've got any kind of martyrdom going on. So if you have any message or you hear yourself saying that, um, well, I just can't because, that would be an excuse. Um, I don't think it's possible. That would be a belief, not an accurate one, but a belief. Or if um, you're like, well, I just can't because my life is always this way and it's going to suck. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm not even going to feed into it because energy words are powerful. And um, I don't want my energy to pay attention to that. So if you find yourself essentially telling a story, then you need to slam on the brakes and say, wait a minute, can I be kind to myself? Can I take a breath? Can I get off my knees because they're really hurting because Josh put me through the ringer this morning in uh, spin class? Uh, good stretch, though. Good stretch. Can I stretch? Like, can I pay attention to what it is that my body and my system needs in order to uh, best be serving myself and others? So you may need to spend a lot of time by yourself right now. And remember when you were little and you needed a timeout? Well, as adults, we get to take timeout. Bella, you can take a timeout, too, because you're kind of almost an adult. Um so just hang in there, lots of deep breaths. If you take a breath in for the count of four, hold for four, breathe out for four, it's going to help. Um, and I hope this helped you realize that you're not nuts, um, that if you've been feeling more challenged lately, you are being and you should rise to raise, rise to the challenge as well. You're capable of it. Um, so stop calling yourself short, unless you're short. And that's just stature, not necessarily capability. So it's gonna be another four or five days. So um, <laughs> is also why I'm coming on. So make sure that you're asking other people for help. Uh, you're welcome, Amy. Thanks for tuning in. Um, and then you can also ask for compassion from others, not to put up with poor behavior. That's not okay. But to be able to say and use your words and to be able to say, I'm just feeling a little short circuited right now. The challenging part I think has been is not knowing where it's coming from. I've heard that a little bit this week and, and even being surprised when you know where it's coming from. So I don't think we necessarily have to go digging for stuff to find out what's the cause of why you're not feeling so great. Maybe you just need more water. It's been very hot here in the Berkshires. Um, and the East Coast, <laughs> it's always hot on the West Coast, so you guys should drink more water anyway. It, you may not know where it's coming from. And one of the things that you can do there is rather than dig into a story or feel like you have to understand or you have to identify it in order to release it, you can absolutely ask that the chords, the etheric chords to the situation, to the emotion, to whatever's going on be released and you know if you've watched any of the videos pre previously i love archangel michael and i'll say please remove all cords to the situation um and return my cords to me thank you very much what it does is it helps to clean up that energy field uh, which affects the emotions um so take care of you 
Make sure you're shaking out that energy. Watch the food cravings. They, I joked about the M&Ms. Well, it was no joke. I did have some. Um, but watch the cravings because they're also going to indicate to you that you're trying to shift some energy. You're trying to shift some beliefs and old patterns or ways of stuffing those beliefs are getting in the way and that's any modality so that can be food it can be drinking it can be poor choices in partners um, <laughs> and uh, it sometimes it's it can also be in the over exercising and, and that capacity overworking so just pay attention to that you got about another five days and then there'll be a little bit of an ease so um, I hope this helped I hope you're all doing well. Support each other out there. You know, phone a friend, ask them if they're okay. Um, help. Sometimes to, uh, it helps to understand that it's coming externally and it's not all something that's within or you're doing something wrong. And if you have particularly stressful stuff going on in your life right now, honor that. Acknowledge it because a lot of the times this... Um, inside of us that just wants to um, express itself or be heard or be seen, be acknowledged. Once we do that, it tends to calm down. So, and then here's, here's the thing, right? When you're doing that, it's going to go out exponentially. So the more of us that do this and keep our calm and, and apply our knowledge the more it's going to help those that might not know and, or those that don't yet have the skills or capability to be putting it into action. Um, uh, so I'm so glad <laughs> from some of the comments that this is hitting. And um, I'm often accused of being in other people's heads, but I flip it to, I think you people knock on my head and say, okay, you have 15 minutes, get your butt on. And whoever suggested that I'm on Instagram and Facebook at the same time, thank you. I appreciate that. It's been on my list for quite a while. They own each other. Why can't they just play nice? So let's do this, as Mary says, um, and spread that love. Start with self and then um, I just really listen to whatever's coming up. If you have a sense of what it is, like with my experience, I knew what it was. Um, I didn't need to shift it. There are going to be times and days that are more challenging. As much as I love my life, there's still going to be some times where it's very difficult to um, have gone through the last few years. It's not about judging. And please don't blame yourself for having emotions. They're so freaking wonderful and the more that we honor them and allow them to flow kindly don't take it out on others the healthier our whole system is going to be physically and um planetary wise universe all of that so do something fun um play laugh uh, and sing a good song, something, anything that raises the vibration so we can collectively contribute. So thank you so much for stopping by. And um, it just occurs to me now, I don't know how to end a video on Instagram. So I might be on there a little longer than Facebook. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And as always, thank you so much for being in my life. Oh, Wisdom Wednesday is Wednesday of this next week, the 31st. It's always the last Wednesday of the month. It's $8. And I will be going into detail on how to handle intense energy. And you uh, sign up on the website, get sent a Zoom link. And if you want to be on video, you can. If not, you can listen and participate. I do a meditation. And then I also pick one person from the group whomever is uh, subscribed. And I do an on-the-spot reading. So like how I'm getting shorter because I'm going back to my knees and then I stay in when I get shorter. Um, so <laughs> this is my, my method of grounding. Thank you so much. Have a great day. And I will see you again soon, I hope.